Okay. So it's a couple minutes after 10. And um, so as soon as we'll just, as soon as Gail's ready, we'll go ahead and start. I'm so glad that you're all here. Um, 69 people, maybe 70 registered. Um, and, you know, I'm sure people will just, I tried to send reminders. <laughs> um, so, but it is being recorded. So um, if you have somebody that you thought was gonna be on here, we can, it'll be shared. It'll be recorded. So hopefully everybody's got their, their beverage of choice. Oh, Still wow. drinking coffee. Good job. <laughs> and um, got something to write with to take notes. And we will go, Gail, whenever you are ready. Awesome. So you are recording this. That's it, great because yep. most people will find us on the replay. Uh -huh. um, I'm going to minimize my panel view so I won't be seeing any of you. Um, yep. That helps me not to be distracted. So I'm going to hide you all away. Um, this PowerPoint is like thrown together over the last, since Sylvia says, hey, let's do a follow-up, share send out cards. And I thought, you know, I've been using send out cards for 12 years. So I, I just have some examples I want to share with you. 10 top ways realtors use send out cards. <clears throat> and there might even be a couple bonus ones in there as well. So we're going to get started. Um, Sylvia, if there's anybody that has questions in the chat, feel free to break in and interrupt me and we'll just go from here. All right. And can you hear me? Okay. That's what I just want to make sure. Yes. Okay. Perfect. All right. This is a little bit about me. Um, I have, I'm an associate broker with eXp Realty. My husband and I serve the lower Southwest corner of Michigan, the greater Kalamazoo area. I've been a realtor since 2004. I've had a hundred, Steve and I have enjoyed a hundred percent referral business since 2012, building relationships. We close 40 to 50 homes per year on average. I was the 2017 Realtor of the Year for the Greater Kalamazoo Association of Realtors. Um, I am a master relationship marketing trainer, um, a senior executive affiliate with Send Out Cards. I mentioned I've been with the company for, for 12 years and uh, there's a story around that too. Um, I'm on the advisory council to send out cards for the last four years and the runner-up affiliate of the year 2018. So that's just a little bit about me to hopefully give you um, the cr credentials that I'm here to share with you um, that this stuff works. So here's a little bit of my journey. I received this card in the mail, nothing beats a great referral after a networking event in 2007. As a realtor for three years, probably about 75 closed transactions, I had a pile of files on my desk. I had nowhere to, I did not have a CRM. I didn't have anywhere to store those contacts. So I thought I'd just keep them in front of me. Um, I found that this was an amazing system. I called the guy who sent me the card. I actually sent a card to my husband, Steve. And I chose this service for me. It was the right service. It allowed me to um, write down or keep track of people, addresses, phone numbers, um, birth dates, home anniversary dates. So this was the right service for me. Um, during 2008 to 2011, we had about a 35% referral business. And during that time when the market was dismal, we focused on relationships and we built our 100% referral based business and have been able to enjoy that for the last um, eight or nine years. Again, 40 to 50 homes a year. I send an average of eight cards a day. I've done that since, if you average out all the cards, probably a little over 30,000 cards in the last 12 years, um, I'm very consistent with my formula. We're not really gonna get into this formula today, but it's interaction, social media interaction and people, human-based interaction. So top 10 ways to use send out cards plus two bonus ideas. Thank you, gratitude, and appreciation. Cody Bateman, the founder of Send Out Cards, wrote a book, and we'll talk about that towards the end. But he said 95% of business owners, not, not realtors, but business owners in general, never say thank you. So don't be a 95% or be a 5% or thank you, gratitude, appreciation. 
birthdays. Um, Facebook is great for letting us know when our clients, our, our friends, everybody, our family are having birthdays. Take those special pictures even after the fact, send cards. Nice to meet you. Follow up after an appointment with buyers and sellers. Lifestyle celebration. This is probably my favorite category and I have several slides to prove that. <laughs> um, engagements, people get engaged, they have weddings, um, they share pictures of their babies, they go on vacation, they get new pets, their pets pass away, P kids are graduating, you have uh, sympathy cards and encouragement cards, all lifestyle celebration cards. Recognition. You, you see people that have a new job. Maybe you, you know, your neighbor gets a new job and you find out, send them a card, congratulate them. Promotions, accomplishments, client events, and follow up after client events. I'm going to share some ideas around what we do with client events. After the sale, whether you're a, a buyer or seller, there's a three to five um, card campaign, including the home anniversary. I'm going to share my campaign with you today for the sellers. Holidays, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's. There's, there's a like there's a there's a holiday every every month. There was there's opportunities to celebrate people every day. Just go to a calendar. It was National Selfie Day last week and took advantage of that. Um, open house follow up. Share a story around that. Here's your bonus ones: farming and circle prospecting, and for sale by owners and expired listings. These last two I use minimally. But I think there's value in that for those out there, agents who want to connect with for sale by owners and expired listings. Here's the three questions. I want you to think about how much is one referral worth to you? Um, this is a realtor one. So is it 5,000, 10,000, 20,000, 2,500? Depending on your market, this is your answer. I want you to write that down. And then how much have you left on the table because you've not stayed in touch after a sale? You know, it used to be when I got started, people would move every seven to eight years. Now it's every three years. Have you had clients that you sold homes to within the last three years give you a call and say, hey, we're thinking about making a move? It's not that longevity anymore. So it, it behooves you to stay in touch after the sale. And would one or two additional referrals each month change your business? If your average commission is 5,000, would 10 or $20,000 each month additional change your business? So we're gonna talk about becoming level four. This is just simply around habits. Um, engaging in social media every day, that's the 50, 25, one part. Using your smartphone, you, you go to events. I went to a, an event the other night. Uh, local, we were raising funds for um, our local realtor association has um, Realtors Who Care. It's a nonprofit organization. They had an event, fundraiser. I went, took pictures, posted them. Become level four with your smartphone. Take selfies, take pictures of others, post them. I, I posted a picture of our sunset last night and I had tons of engagement. Um, level one is unconscious incompetence. You don't think about it, you don't do it. You don't have that excuse anymore because you're on this webinar today or you're listening to it. So you're gonna probably fall into two or three. Conscious incompetence is you think about it and you don't do it. So many of us, realtors are notorious for chasing shiny objects. So if you find something that works for you, lean into it, get really good at it, get level four at it where you don't have to think about it, you just do it and it'll serve you well in business. Conscious competence is you think about it and you do it. And then unconscious, unconscious competence, it's your habit. It's something you do every day. I have countless stories of how my activities of sending cards every single day have brought business to us. So those, that's a picture of Cody and Jody Bateman. They're our mentors. They're the co-founders of Send Out Cards and really, fantastic friends of ours today after 12 years. Um, quickly, social media, uh, 50, 25, one and three. Th this I talked about in the webinar I did the other day. It's just connecting with people, becoming visible. Three habits to the business you desire, your smartphone. It doesn't matter if you're Android or if you're Apple, take pictures every day and post them. Send them in a text message. Send them in a card. Yes. I just want to say the 50 formula. Um, 
I will at the end of the meeting, I'll post a um, couple things. I'll post the, the video replay from Sunday night. Okay. Going over that in more detail. And also um, the, the uh, document that I shared, the resources document. Mm -hmm. I put a couple notes in there with what the formula is and the PDF and everything. So I'll share that too. So it can, you know, if anybody wasn't at that and doesn't really know what this formula is, it's just the number of type, the number and types of contacts that you're going to have with people every day. So, okay, moving right along. Thank oh. you, Sylvia. Yes. Okay. So sending at least three heartfelt cards. Now today we're talking send out cards because that's what I use. You could be a handwritten note writer person. Keep doing it. I'm not, I'm not asking you to change. I'm just sharing ideas of what send out cards has done for me and, and for my husband in our business. So I use send out cards every single day and it started with a Facebook post, May 25th. This is a cool story and I love it because it's happening right now. Um, Jody Stafori uh, posted on May 25th, looking for a realtor recommendation. Greg Spicinger, who is a, a client we had just closed with, said, Gail and Steve just sold our Michigan home in four hours. They are the best. And then Anna, his wife, went on to you know, give her two cents. And it, re it resorted to a, a Facebook Messenger introduction by Anna to me and Jody, which I, I'm pleased to tell you today about an hour and a half ago they just went under contract with the home they're purchasing so let's talk about how that went so tim and jody um they came into our office after the introduction i think it was may 30th because i sent these cards after the meeting with them i i had not seen their homes they are each selling so they're bringing a family together so this is three transactions jody selling her home tim selling his house and they're buying a home together so after our meeting at the office, I sent a thank you note to Jody. It's nice to meet you at our office. Hope you had a fun trip to Petoskey. That's where they're going. Thank you for allowing us to serve you as you prepare to move this summer. We will make this transition as smooth as possible, bringing your family under one roof. Please reach out with any lingering questions. Here's a little treat for you and the boys. So I sent them each a four pack of brownies with their card for Tim. Thank you for taking time to come to our office to discuss your upcoming moves. We are committed to help you and Jody bring your family under one roof. Here's a little treat for you and the boys. He, they each have two boys. So it was, um, this is a card that I sent. Um, and, and like I said, we're bringing those together. I just got a message. Can you get Tim's home on the market tomorrow and have an open house Sunday? You guys, this is send out cards. If you think about it now, how do you follow up after you meet with somebody at your office or at their home or you, you get introduced to them? I want you to think about the power of greeting cards and the tangible touch. Okay. Another thank you and gratitude and appreciation. So my friend, Donna, um, I spoke in Colorado back in March and she wrote a book and she sent me a book. She sent a signed copy of the book. So I took a selfie with me with her book. And that was a picture that was posted of the two of us at the event back in March. It's just simple. It took me literally a minute and a half to create this card and send a thank you to Donna for her book. And I love it when, when you send a card, send out card says, congratulations, you just made the world a better place. Okay, thank you again. Thank you for the referral. This is a campaign card I have in my system. So if, I, if a referral comes in, I can quickly go grab this card, attach it to the person. It comes with a two pack of brownies. And this note, see how it says dear first name? So if I'm sending this to Sylvia, it'll say dear Sylvia, just to note to let you know that your referrals are the lifeblood of our business. Thank you for the trust you place in us to work hard for your friends and family. Here's a special treat just for you. We appreciate you, Stephen Gale. So this card, it's a, it's a campaign. Now let's switch. So say thank you. That's number one. Thank you. Appreciation, gratitude. Number two, birthday. Send out cards has dozens of birthday cards for all ages. Um, they have photo drop cards like you see this one here. This is a we got invited to our client 
Patrick's surprise 30th birthday party. And so what do we do? We go, we take pictures, and then we create a fun lasting memory. So we've done Patrick and Elise. Elise just referred us to a gal she works with. It's that ongoing communication, tangible touch. Send out card says he's cute celebrating you brownies or cakes. They're not really brownies. They're, they're delicious though. I've had them. So simple card, few pictures, drag and drop. Um, surprise. What a fun gathering to celebrate your 30th birthday. Cheers to many more, Pat. Love you, Stephen Gale. Nice to meet you cards. You know, this is another way to stand out. You go to an event, you meet people, send a nice to meet you card. Uh, you meet with a client and you send a nice to meet you card. Um, looking forward to the opportunity to work with you. There's, again, you can search nice to meet you cards with send out cards and you, you come, they come up with lots of different things for you to choose from. I, this is a nice to meet you card I sent to Sylvia. Did you get your card yesterday? Sylvia? Anyway, Sylvia and I, we... Sorry, I just said I didn't check my mail yet. I'll go right now. You go tell them about it and I'll go get my mail. <laughs> okay, you go find your mail. So this was... Um, a nice to meet you card that I sent to Sylvia. We, she invited me to come to Grand Rapids to do a presentation. I, I've created a two hour continuing education course. And then she invited me to come in the EXP world and present. There was like 183 people in the auditorium that night. So I sent her a, I sent her a thank you. Just took some screenshots, had a picture. Again, these are simple to do, simple to do, but do you think it's going to stand out? So now she, we just, we just cheated a little. She saw her card before she got it. So anyway, that's a nice to meet you card. Um, Marky, Marky Lemons Rawls came to our association um, 613, June 13th, and presented on Instagram and social media. And so um, it's my habit to take pictures. So I took this picture uh, of Marky. I sent her a card. And, and over here on the right was, she posted that. I sent her a little gift, a little plate that said, hello, beautiful. And she posted that on Instagram and tagged me in it. So, you know, things that make you stand out. If you go to an event and you, you meet a speaker or yeah, how, take a picture, send them a card, thank them for what they poured into you, um, not expecting anything in return, okay? So that's a nice to meet you slash... Thank so you. I want to show everybody my box I got. <laughs> I okay. went and found it, my front porch. <laughs> okay, so let's, um, we can pause, we can stop the share. So this is, woo, fun. So I you can send gifts. Didn't oh, even. Thanks. Look at that. Grateful. <laughs> I'm grateful for you, Sylvia. Nice. And then I got my card. <laughs> So when you send a gift, it comes in a vellum envelope so you can see through it. So when you open that box, you've got something cool that you can see. So there we are. And there we are in the world, teaching, training, can inspiring. Can you change again, Gail? Can, uh, What's that, Deb? Can she show that gift again and the card in the vellum? Oh, sure. Show the card, show the envelope. Hey, can you guys, can you guys see me big? Yeah. Okay, so here's the card. Okay, and it came in this like see-through envelope. So it's see-through, <clears throat> okay? It was a selfie we took and that's, she did a screenshot of us in the world. <laughs> and then a screen, you know, a, a selfie when we did our in-person um, training, at, we did CE credits here in Michigan. And then this is the back of her card. Okay, and then the box, it was just like, you know, this box, and this was what was inside. This little coffee mug with this little cute little bag that it comes in. Okay. All right. Thank you. Awesome. Well, Sylvia, 
I am grateful for you. <laughs> we, um, it, I will only ever have one first CE credit presentation and Sylvia facilitated that. So I'll, I'm thankful and grateful for that. So I'll go ahead and back and share the screen. Here we are at Marky and follow up, follow up, follow up, follow up, follow up, follow up. This is my friend Becky. We've been in relationship for 20 years, but you know, Becky chose to list her home with me when she had many, 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 many other options. Um, but we had developed a solid, strong relationship over the last 20 years, and so she chose to list. So I would take pictures of her home. I would send, I hear, Becky, do you realize how precious you are to me? Your faith and commitment to list your home with us touches my heart. Love you, friend. And then she was a gem. I sent her a little gift. It was wintertime. And I said, uh, February 21st, Becky, thank you. Your loyalty to our friendship will always be remembered. I love you. You're a gem. So we got it listed, got it sold, and follow up. Lifestyle celebration. This is my favorite thing to do with send out cards. Because when you're in social media and you see people celebrating life, you can pause and in moments, send a lasting impression, a tangible touch. So the first picture over on the left is my friend Farah. She came to Michigan for a retreat. We spent some time together. And so, you know, of course, pictures, but that was her post on Facebook, what she got out of that retreat. So I wanted her to have that. Because how many times does our Facebook post, we have an experience and then it's gone, right? You have to go search and find it. I wanted her to have a tangible touch of her memory at the Arenda um, and the, the time we had. My friend Tammy, she's a realtor over in the Howell area and she or her daughter got married. I've been following this journey for the last six months. So um, just a quick card with pictures that were posted you know, dear Tammy, you talked about this day for many months. It looked like the day was simply perfect. You're a beautiful mother of the bride celebrating you today. Lots of love, Gail. Then over to the right, my good friends, Matt and Molly and their little baby Walter. And I just could not stand. I had an emotional response when I saw this picture. That's when I know I need to pause and send a card. So just simply, this is a flat card comes in an envelope front and back and it said, sheer joy, laughter, and love. Gabe told Sheila, so Gabe is my son, Sheila's her mom. Gabe told Sheila at McKenna's graduation party that he loves watching you both be parents of such a beautiful child. Walter is blessed to have you both as a guide in this world. Love you, Molly and Matt. Frameworthy, Stephen Gale. So what they can do, now they have a five by seven picture of this moment that can be framed. Couple other examples. I think someone's at my door. Hang on just a second. I just want to say while she's checking the door, um, uh, you know, that's, that's awesome about the, how you put the pictures of people, because we don't ever print pictures anymore. <laughs> so having a printed picture and like being able to frame it and stuff, that is huge. So anyway, okay. Who was it? Got, it was the UPS guy. It doesn't ever come to the lake house. <laughs> so, okay, lifestyle celebration. These are just pictures of people that are special in my life that they posted on Facebook. Um, Dale and his son Brody, they went to the Chicago White Sox, Red Sox game, and they're Boston, like they're Boston fans. So I sent this card to Brody because that's his favorite guy that actually I think came down and gave him an autograph. So... Um, I sent that card. My, this is Nate. Nate and Julie have been friends of ours for 13 years. They bought a house with us. This was Father's Day, kind of pre-Father's Day weekend. But, you know, he caught this fish and Nate works really hard. So I just paused and sent this. Julie said, oh my gosh. He always says that cards are okay. But, you know, he keeps that front and center on the kitchen counter. So, you know, just fun cards of memories. This is my friend Donna Stott, and she had a baby granddaughter. So I just paused, sent this card to her, just celebrating her new baby. My friend Ty, I actually am golfing in place of Ty this evening. And when I sent her this card of her, her and her boys, 
and her son graduating, you know, just like click save, put on the front of a card, inside left, there's her and her, her boy, and then their three sons. And she was, she left me a voicemail that was very touching. This made an impact for her. And so this is just examples of lifestyle celebration. My good friend, Kevin Hoover is a coach. His little boy, Bax, is going through cancer treatment. So when pictures are posted, I can pause for a second. Like I say, when you have an emotional response, you can pause and send a card, brighten people's days. Okay, so we move from lifestyle celebration to recognition. Um, look for opportunities, you know, people get a new job, they um, get a promotion within their job, um, they hit a sales goal. My friend Christine, this was just this morning, and I haven't sent her a card yet, but I will because she's just taken on a position as a principal um, in a new role, so I'm going to celebrate her. In the middle, that's my friend Amy Broghammer. She's written a book, um, and she was thanking the Women's Council of Realtors for a speaking recommendation that they gave. Um, my friend Jay McHugh, he's a broker owner of Lair Realty out in Massachusetts, and he earned the VIP status within send out cards. So here's what I did. <clears throat> I take those pictures, and I have paused to send a card. Amy sent me a crown. Oh my gosh, she sent me a crown. It's behind me in a box. And that's a picture of me with the crown that she sent because she calls me the send out cards queen. Um, so I sent her this card celebrating that moment of her recognition. And I also sent my friend Jay a card. Um, that was his profile picture with he and his daughter. So, hey, Jay, thumbs up from Ocean. Great job, Jay. You're leading the way for others to follow. You're a great example. Take a sip of water. So, recognition. Look for opportunities to recognize people. Client events. Um, we do two client events a year. We do Flower Fest in May and we do Pumpkin Fest in October. These are just examples of our invitations. Um, I create a campaign. On the inside, I put pictures from the previous year. So I will recreate this campaign, just switch out pictures from this year. And then next year, my campaign will be all ready to go out. It'll be the first Saturday. I can tweak the, um, the time over here on the, you know, it'll, it won't be May 18th next year. And then take pictures. We have our client appreciation banner. It just kind of highlights us. They know how to find us, right? I don't have to always tell people how to get a hold of me because they know. Follow up afterwards. So when our clients come, we take pictures with them. And um, this is our dear client, Elizabeth. And Elizabeth and Roger worked with us in 2015. And we found out at the client event that her husband, Roger, passed away last October. So um, in the card, I address that. Hearing the news of Roger's passing saddened us. We will always think of the two of you as one. Have a blessed summer, Steve and Gail. That's our little granddaughter, our client appreciation girl. Um, here's our pumpkin fest invite. So each year, this is this was last year was our seventh annual. Each year, I keep the card the same. I just go in and change the date, highlight a new location, um, so people know where to find us. And then afterwards, the follow up cards, client event follow up. This is an image. I again level four with your smartphone. Take lots of pictures. I use a collage uh, maker, PhotoGrid. I create these collages, so I load them in as one picture, and it's very quick and easy. So highlighting the people. This card goes out to even the people. We send out probably 250 invitations to this event, and maybe about 100 people come. But guess what? 250 invitations, 250 follow-up go out after the event because we want people to see how much fun we had. and and it says, our new um, thanks to those who made it out for the fun. We missed the rest of you. Save the date for next year, October 12th, 2019. Our new location is awesome, weatherproof, and the address. Happy fall, Stephen Gale, Network Team Homes. So that's an, 
an example of a follow-up. So you have client events, you have follow-up. Now after the sale, drip campaigns. Send out cards gives me the ability to send out five cards that are gonna go out over the course of the next year to our clients when they close on the home. Two of those have gifts. So um, the total cost of this campaign is $39.23. $39.23 for five cards, three gifts that go out after the sale. So here's what they look like. Um, I'm gonna use Becky as an example. When you go to closings, take pictures. So this is the card and on the left side, I just added pictures that were relevant to that client. <clears throat> so congratulations on the sale of your home. Where it says dear first name, it's gonna pull the name of your client into that space so it brands it. Um, P.S. One brand new bike will be donated to Toys for Tots in your honor this coming Christmas. And then that's the custom brand for this campaign. Stephen Gill Zintek donating one bike for every home sold. This goes out with a four pack of brownies. Three month check in. So three months after the sale, first name, it's been a few months since you closed on your home. Know where you're here if any lingering questions come up. Hope life is treating you kind. You deserve that. Home is where your heart is. We are grateful for you. And then there's a little token, just a little token. Maybe they golf. They can use it as a golf token. Maybe they keep it in their change purse. Maybe they put it on the shelf. But there's just a little token for them to feel good about you. Um, summer card. So one, the ones, every summer has its own story is a flat card that goes out in May. So right now we're closing on homes. This card will go out next May but it's kind of generic in the fact that we're inviting them. Hope they have something fun planned for the summer. If you're around Three Rivers, come take a cruise with us around Clear Lake, Steve and Gail. And there's a picture of our pontoon boat in the sunset. Um, then we have one that goes out November 10th for Thanksgiving. As we reflect over this past year of business, we are truly thankful for the families we had the privilege to work with. We hope your Thanksgiving finds you surrounded by those you love and those that love you. Blessings for the holiday season, Steve and Gail. So that's, there's four. And then the fifth one goes out um, at, on the anniversary. So in send out cards, you can add an anniversary date. That's a closing date. And then it says, it's been a year since you closed on the sale of your home. We wanted to pause and say one more time, thank you for your trust in hiring us for the job. We hope this past year has been one filled with good memories. Let us know how you're doing. We think of you often and always with a smile. And that comes with a two pack of brownies. So this one is um, a drip campaign. Like I say, five touches over the course of the year. We have one for buyers and we have one for sellers. Um, holidays. Another great time to stay in touch. These are just images over on the left of cards over the past several years, even back to 2007. But cards that we send, we create fun cards, memorable cards from our year, and we send them to our clients, our family, and our friends. We, we want, this is the personal touch, right? People want to kind of get involved with you and your family and your life and what you do. So share them with them. It's a holiday card. Um, if you want to keep it a little more generic, there's, the, there's like a three-touch campaign that you can create. This one goes out Thanksgiving, November 10th, December 9th, and December, I guess it's the 28th. So within a six-week period, they're going to get three cards from you. Thanksgiving, a holiday, and a New Year card. Yeah. We Yes. Somebody's asking, um, I know the answer. So, so there's a couple, a couple different th parts to this question. Somebody's asking, um, are the drip campaigns included with send out cards or are you using KV Core? So I know that this is a send out card campaign that you set up in, in, in your back end of send out cards, correct? That is correct. So send out cards is my CRM. I have um, about 7,000 contacts in there. 
And I, that's what I've used for 12 years. So those are where my contacts are. This is now, that being said, Send Out Cards is working right now on an API that would integrate with like KV Core, Salesforce, other things, but it's a separate program from Send Out Cards. It's a program called Sendogo. With Send Out Cards, you have the ability to, like what I do mostly is creating something that's a little more personal. So, right, because because the 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 new program it's it's going to be like a more automated thing, and you can't like put like the individual. You can't individualize it as much from this other. There, there's limited customization with with the Sendogo. So, okay, that's why I highly recommend send out cards. To show everybody how much my cat really likes the send out card box. <laughs> He worked really hard to get in there. He worked oh so hard. <laughs> Take a picture of himself. I'm, I'm going to. <laughs> okay, so here's an idea for you all. I'm not asking that you donate bikes, but find something that resonates with who you are, something you're passionate about. If you struggle with, you know, closing gifts and what do I get people? Find something that you're, you're passionate around. Our clients love the fact that we donate a bike to Toys for Tots in their honor. So every January, this is our New Year card. And the one on the left was 2018. And the one on the right is the one we just did in 2019. So it, this is a card. So here, I'm going to read the text. So if people are just listening to this, they'll get it. So there's pictures of us with the bikes, with the Marines that come and pick the bikes up at the Walmart. Um, the news team came out. They've done a story on us about three out of the last four years. But here's what it says. January 2019, we wanted to wish you a happy and joyful new year. We are blessed by your friendship and your business. On December 10th, 2018, News Channel 3 came out to our annual Toys for Tots bike donation. For the fourth year in a row, our company donated one bike for each home sold, totaling 232 bikes since 2014. This is possible because of you. Your referrals are the lifeblood of our business, and we appreciate the trust you place in us to refer your friends and family to us. Cheers to a 2019 that exceeds all of your expectations. We are ready to go to work, Steve, Gale, and Nico. So you see how you can, you can, celebrate what you do, but also subtly ask for, or, or we just remind people that their referrals to you are, are very important. Okay, another top 10 reason to use send out cards, open house. I went back and dug this one up. This was fun. I met Michelle at, at an open house and I sent her this card. This is back when we didn't have custom branding. So I, I actually, uploaded my business card inside. I don't recommend this. Um, there's other ways to do it and especially to use the branding on the back. Um, but March 17, 2008. Dear Michelle, it was a pleasure meeting you at my open house Sunday. I'm looking forward to helping you or Richard find the right home. See, she was going through a divorce. So we didn't know which one was moving at that time to fit your needs. You have my promise that I'll give you competent buyer agency service as your as you contemplate the purchase of a new home, let me know how I can be of service to you. Sincerely, Gail. So that was, I just met her. And then three weeks later, we went under contract. And so the picture on the right, the card on the right, it said, Dear Michelle, it won't be long and you'll be sitting on your patio in your new backyard looking at the beautiful morning glories creeping up your fence. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I'll talk to you soon. She called me crying after receiving this card. And I believe it solidified our relationship. She bought that home. I worked with her mom to buy a home. Her babysitter purchased a home and then they moved. So really it led to five sales over time um, because I was in the habit of sending cards. So think about this. You got an open house, your open house, take a picture of the front of the home. Um, if you can get people to sign in and give you their address, or maybe you have to be a little more detective afterwards to find out where they live, stay in touch. You send out cards as a follow-up. 
Farming, Circle Prospecting, Just Listed, Just Sold. Um, this is a home we listed. This is one, the home we actually sold to Anna and Greg and they said four hours, it was actually eight. So um, <laughs> I love how the fish story shortens in this one. Um, but this is a card I created in Canva and I sent it to the neighborhood because here's what, here's what happened. It sold so quickly. There was multiple offers coming in and Greg and Anna chose not to enter that situation. So <clears throat> we, um, I sent this card and wrote a recommendation on our business profile page. That's on the upper part of the inside of the card. And then the, the text on the, on the lower part just says uh, March 14th, we listed 1037 Chaucer for 335. Within eight hours, we had an accepted contract for 340,000. This home closed on April 29th. Other buyers were very interested in this home and missed out. Our entire inventory is at an all time low. If you're curious about the value of your home, we'd love to stop over and have a conversation with you. Above is a recommendation Anna Spicinger wrote on our Facebook business page. We've sold homes in our area for the past 15 years and have lived in the area since 1972. Here to serve Stephen Gale, and then that's the back of the card. So this is, you know, you can use send out cards for circle prospecting, for farming. You can upload lists of addresses that you get from a spreadsheet very quickly into send out cards and get the cards sent. So that's just one idea. Um, farming, if you're farming an area, pick your area and farm it. Farm it. Farm it means you're cultivating and you're going to do it, you're going to commit to it for a period of time you know, two to three years, you've got to know going out, knocking on doors and introducing yourself really helps you get to know the people. And then when they receive your cards, they're a little bit more like, oh yeah, there's Stephen Gale. So this was a card we sent to a farm, um, our neighborhood, our former neighborhood where we used to live um, in 2018. It produced a listing appointment. Um, farming an inventory card. This this one I sent back in 2016, <clears throat> but I wanted to highlight, you guys, it made me realize we've been in low inventory for three years. Three years, supply and demand. So this was a card I sent. Um, number of active listings in all price ranges, 1360. You know what? In today's market, we are at about 850. So we've we've like still depleted even from there but i highlighted some homes that were sold quickly on the market and then i i went to my mls and i screenshotted some um facts and stats and and i sent that card so that's just an idea you can farm your area with an inventory card, letting them know what's going on okay these are your bonuses for sale by owners i don't do for sale by owners but i have worked with people who have and have had success with it it really is about building rapport and um, being good at what you do so this is an example of a card a thank you kindly maybe you have a conversation with the for sale by owner they invite you to come over and take a look at their home um, this is a campaign set to go out with a two pack of brownies Thank you for taking a few minutes, a few moments to chat with me about your house today. I appreciate the time you spent going over highlights of your home. I will send the info to all my buyers right away. Please call me if there's anything I can do to help or if you change your mind and want to get it listed. That's a soft approach, right? That's the relational approach. Then you can also um, do a, like a, a campaign. So five cards immediately. Is your family trying to move? And I don't have I don't have the insides of these. It was just too time consuming to do that, but gives you an idea. Seven days, another card goes out. Fourteen days, hey, hello, it's me again. You know, um, twenty one days and twenty eight days. So that's just an example of how you can set a campaign to go out to a for sale by owner. Um, it's your verbiage, how you would talk to them, your scripts, your dialogue, set in cards. You, you're not limited to five. You could have unlimited, but um, that's just an example. Expired listings, similar. Um, 
this here's one that you could send out it's just a i'm sorry card it says i know it probably wasn't in your plans to have your home expire from the market some say chocolate makes everything better so i included a couple of delicious brownies i love the opportunity to chat with you about getting your home sold sincerely you can reach me at and then that top space if you're really going to like work effectively and you want to touch them at the core drive by their house take a picture upload it to the inside top of the card send it with the two pack of brownies and chances are you might get a phone call you're going to stand out anyway um to the right that's just an example of four cards that are sent out over the course of two weeks um you can put their picture on the front of the card with the word sold and then you know hang in there four days later when life has you lemons inside it says let's make lemonade and have an open house so that's just kind of a fun way to encourage them to what you're going to do in your marketing and such so those are the top 12 ways realtors you send out cards and i i want you to realize communication is the key so you're texting, your phone calls, your social media, your face-to-face, -face, your sending greeting cards is your communication system. There's opportunities all around us every single day to say thank you, send out gratitude, to celebrate birthdays, to um, honor holidays. Fourth of July is coming up. Watch for people who are celebrating fun times with their family there's your lifestyle celebration take a picture say wow looks like you guys had a great time um, keep in touch marketing and promotion use the 80 20 rule 80 percent of the time it's about the relationship with people 20 percent of the time throw sprinkle some marketing things in there it's been the best relationship building program in the world for Steve and I in our business. Over 170 million greeting cards have been sent and 12 million gifts in the last 15 years. And here's um, the different options. So there you can, you can try send out cards. Like I'm going to share my link with you. You can send a card for free. Try it out. See if you like it. Um, if you like it and you want to get started, I recommend the premium. It's $97 a month, but here's what it does for you. It allows you to send three, at, well, unlimited. Let me rephrase. It allows you to send unlimited heartfelt cards. So those lifestyle celebrations, those recognitions, those even, you know, thank you for meeting me at my open house. All of those are heartfelt cards. One card to an individual person with an immediate send date. So if you send 10 cards a month, it's $97, including postage. If you send 150 cards a month, it's $97 and in including postage. So think about this. When you send a card, it's 55 cents for mail. If you're in the United States, if you're in other countries, it's 89 or whatever. You can mail cards. You can be a customer all over the world and you can use send out cards and they'll pay the postage, even um, international postage. So unlimited heartfelt cards for $97 a month. That's why I say do at least three cards every day. That's 90 cards a month for less than $100 and it's going to enhance your business. It's going to enhance your business. If you use the system like I've shared with you today, I will guarantee you it will because it took us five years of using send out cards. Well, actually th three and a half years, 2008 to 2011. We got really good at it. And then from 2012 to today, sending an average of eight cards every day, keeping in touch, um, I just recently sent a card to a, well, I got a call from a lady I sent a card to in 2008. I listed her home just last week. She found my card in a file folder when she was thinking about making a move. So if you want to think about cards that stand out, that have long longevity, lifespan, um, do the heartfelt cards and you will have success. I'm going to highlight a book, Cody Bateman's bestseller, The Power of Human Connection, is written in three parts. The first part is all about relationship marketing. 
The second part is about marketing and sales. And the third part is personal development. And if you round out, if you, if you get um, entrenched in personal development mindset um, and the activities around that, it's going to help you succeed in business, no matter what business you're in. So here's my offer for you today. If you, anyone who signs up today with a $97 subscription to give it a try, I will send you Cody's book for free. Um, so that's, that's the offer I have for you today. And know that there's ways to connect with me on my personal Facebook profile. Um, my friends list is filling up. So it, send me a note. I have 780 friend requests waiting, waiting right now, and I have room for about 40. <laughs> so if you are hearing this and you desire to, um, be connected with me, send me a private message as well. Um, I have a Facebook group called Realtors Business by Referral with Send Out Cards. It's a closed group. We share ideas in there on how do you send out cards to enhance your business. I love the testimonials that come in of the reactions people get. 36 to Life is a Facebook group. It's closed, but you can join it. So just go to 36 to Life. It's teaching. We're teaching training and inspiring agents to do 36 deals a year by referral. And then you can join Send Out Cards. Sendoutcards.com forward slash 24853 is my personal ID number that will attach you to me. And um, if you choose to join Send Out Cards, know that I'll be here to help you um, utilize and share it. Uh, to the best of your ability to use it. So Sylvia, um, I don't know if there's any questions I can answer. I can stop my share and we can just take some questions. Yes, there are, so there's two questions. Um, one, it, Julie said, how long does it usually take you to prepare a card? Um, well, in the beginning, it took a lot longer <laughs> than it did now. So I, honestly, I, I use my phone most of the time. So the app on my phone, most of those examples that you saw outside of the um, the client event, things like that, follow up, I the lifestyle celebration, it takes me probably two minutes on my phone to grab a picture, put it and type, you know, my message and click send. Okay. And then somebody else said, do you have to commit to a monthly $97 per month or can you cancel anytime? Cancel anytime. And as a matter of fact, I here's what I recommend. Try it for a try it for thirty days, and send. But you have you'll if you don't send cards, you're going to cancel it. If you send cards, you're going to get results, and you're going to say this is the best thing going. So challenge yourself, not just to sign up. It's not another shiny object. I don't I don't want it to be another shiny object. If you commit to signing up for ninety seven dollars a month, then send at least three cards every day. And it doesn't have to be picture cards, you guys. It could be pick a card out of the card catalog and, and just type your message and, and send it to people. Tell them what they mean to you. Celebrate people. If you, if you use that mindset, you're going to have results and you're going to, people, your, your job is to become tomato, right, Sylvia? Yes. Top of mind awareness through others. If you get top of mind awareness through others, you're, you're going to win the game. So, oh, can everybody hear me? So I'm, somebody asked, uh, where are the recordings? And I'm not sure. So right now I'm going to post um, the link in the chat to Sunday night's presentation when Gail really talks about exactly what she does on social media and what she does with her phone and, you know, what she, you know, she kind of introduces what she does with the cards. Um, and it's just, you know, that was the preface to this. This was the follow-up. So I'm posting that link right now. It's a YouTube video. And then the other thing I'm going to post is um, it's got a few of the class notes. Um, oops, hang on. Um, so I'm going to post that. Does anybody else have any questions? You can go ahead and unmute yourself and ask. I see Stephanie asked if I put my company branding on all the cards that I send. So I don't. Um, here's an example. If I go to gallery view or speaker view, I don't know. I see Sylvia, but here's an <laughs> example. 
example of one that I have on the back. And it, it really, it's just a picture of Steve and I It's with the bike. And it just says, we are thankful, grateful, and blessed to call you friend. Love and blessings, Steve and Gail, EXP Realty. Um, on, the, on the back of when we sent out, it's just our client appreciation event, all the cards that went out to our, the personalized cards that went out to our clients. Yeah, we just put, put our picture on the back. But let me share my screen. Um, hang on just a second. It's okay. While you're doing that, um, I'm just gonna tell everybody, I also just posted the link to um, the notes resources link for that we posted after the Sunday night presentation for referrals for a living. Um, and it has just a few of the class notes and just other resources too. So I just posted those two things. And as far as this recording, it will be on my YouTube channel, the same YouTube channel that I um, posted this um, YouTube link. And I'll also post it, if you're in EXP, I'll post it in the Dum Dum's Guide to EXP group. Here's, here's an example of different custom backs. So um, I created one for the other day when, when I spoke, right, Sylvia? Someone took that picture, so that became a back. Here's one. My husband and I were, went on vacation to Montana, sending you love, joy, and blessings from our trip to Montana. Um, sympathy cards. I found this quote on Google. So tenderly may your time heal your sorrow. Gently may your friends ease your pain. So that's just, that's there if I send sympathy. Um, lifestyle. Life is short. Spend it with people who make you laugh and feel loved. So, you know, fun pictures of lifestyle out. Um, and then this was just a picture of the same thing. So there are all kinds. My family, we went to Paris. So here's a picture of, of Steve and I and, and our family in front of the Eiffel Tower. So I, here's another one you can use for sympathy. So there are lots and lots of different ways, different ideas, you know, use your branding to send cards to and brand the cards you're sending to the people that, that make a difference. So um, this is just an example of the card catalog. Create a card, you can customize it, flat card, two panel, three panel, big card, postcard, standard glossy pearl satin paper it's really just this simple being able to throw a picture on the front of a card so maybe um here's my friend you are unstoppable how about that to receive a card like that in the mail you can change the colors um so that's just a couple ideas of how to use this use the system for sending cards and customizing. Uh, Gail, I have a quick question. You had, um, you were holding up some of the cards that you had sent out before. Do you choose which cards you get a copy of or do you get a copy of any cards you send out? Like, I, I choose, uh, like if there's a story behind it, Latrice, I will um, send myself a card just so I can share that story with others you know, that example with my friend, this is the card I sent to Madeline Zachary back in 2008. I mean, this was, so I sent this to myself because this is, this is her in front of the home that we just listed because she found this card from, you know, 11 years ago. So if I have a story behind a card, I will send it to myself. Okay, thanks. Um, uh Gail, someone's asking, can you start out with the $17 a month program and increase to 97? You can. Um, your cards, if you send, your cards are going to be, so if you send less than 30 cards, 30 cards will equal with the 17, uh, about $100. So if you want to try it and maybe just send, you know, five, six, seven cards, get in the hang of it. Um, yes, you can always upgrade. Okay. And then I want to see, can you, will, are you able to show us like just a quick little glimpse of what the CRM part looks like? Sure. So here's the relationship. Let me make 
make this bigger. Can you see it? Yeah, so that's, mm -hmm. So I click on relationships and it's going to bring up all my contacts. So there's 6,756 people. Mm -hmm. So if I wanna look at groups, then I can go to, um, let's go to my BNI members. I can pull up my BNI members and there's 45 members. So I can choose to create one card and send it to the whole group. That's where the campaigns come in. Like my top of mind, I have my top of mind. Um, there's 54 in this group and then there's 108 in this group. So I have two separate groups of my top of mind, real estate clients, um, buyer clients, my country broke estates, this is the farm. So I, when I send the farm card, create the card, choose to go to all of those people. Um, so if I wanna look at, um, Becky, so I've got, I've got Becky Bigelow is my friend that we just, her home just sold. So here, here's a good idea. So you can see the cards that I've, I've sent to Becky since um, the first of the year. You can see that these I sent gifts to her. Client event invite, she was having surgery, that was a get well. This one went out May 11th and look, see these are pending. So these are the two other cards that are gonna go out, one November 10th and um, that this one will go out next year, 322, for the anniversary of the sale of her home. So I can go in and look at all my pending cards. There. So the pending cards, you can see we've got clients. You can see the cards that are pending, ready to go out over the course of the next year. So, um, then I can go to my fulfilled and I can look at cards that have been sent. So, and here's, here's what I do. So if I see a card, let's say I sent this one to my friend Deanna and it was just beautiful pictures she posted. And then I spanned her little doggy and then on the back, it just says, these pictures made me happy. Thanks for sharing your love for movement. I'm grateful for you. Much love and appreciation, Deanna Gale. Now, if I want to resend this card to myself, just click the resend button. And then I click next and then I can go send it to anybody else that I want to send it to. So here's how I would pull that up. It's going to go into find myself. Click on the contact. Click done, ready to send. It says blank panels because I've spanned the picture, but see, it's free because it's included in my um, program that I have, the my subscription that I have. So now I can have a copy of that card to share. So that's just some ideas. Any other questions around the system while we're here? Uh, someone said, do they go automatically? But but you, they go out automatically if it's, if it's a campaign that you paid for for that person or you can schedule them, right? You can schedule them. Yeah, that's why I said the, so if I, if I click all, you can see that these are fulfilled, right? So, um, and then if I click pending, these are the, these are the cards that are, that are scheduled to go out in the future based on, you know, when I put people in the system. So those are the campaigns. These are the campaigns that are scheduled to go out. Pay for it. Like, okay, I'm going to pay, you know, this $35 or whatever for this campaign to go out for this person over the year. Okay, great question. So if I, if I go to that and let's say I want to <clears throat> account relationships. So we'll, we'll pull up. Travis and Shadriana. So here's what I would do. I'm gonna click on their name. I'm gonna go to the campaigns. I'm gonna go to, oops, 
<laughs> I'm like, oh, that was an interesting name for camping. Well, it's, um, I, I, na well, you here. Need something special for you. Um, Travis. Okay. I, well, you can search by them. So, N T H. So here's the seller. Here's the buyer campaign. Okay. So I can go to seller only, submit. And Gail, are these, these campaigns just that are already in there that send out cards offers or can you create your own campaigns? Um, I created this one. Send out cards does have campaign, a campaign. <laughs> All right. I don't know who that was, but anyway, uh, hold on. Here they all are. Here you go. Here, here they all are. They're, they're just um, ready to send. So now I go down here. Total estimated total is thirty nine dollars and twenty three cents. Today's charge is nineteen dollars and thirty four cents. Remaining charges is nineteen eighty eight. So see, you don't pay until they actually go out in the future. So today's card is the Oh Happy Day and the four pack of brownies. So that's why that's going out um, ninety nine cents. That was a campaign card. There's the cost for the um, brownie and then the standard shipping it, today's charge would would be added into there so then these are going out in the future so they're not going to get charged until then send out cards keeps your credit card on file so you can always have that so but you so you can send the unlimited heartfelt individual cards but if you're going to create a campaign for one person or, you know, for a group and every time you use that campaign. So let's say, you know, I just have these sellers. I just sold a house to, I want to cr create my own campaign for what's going to go out to them over the next two years or whatever. And then it estimates the cost. Um, and so that'll be extra because they're not just individual heartfelt cards there. I created a campaign. Right. That's okay. correct. Okay. They're called system send. So you can see here, I can actually add more cards to my campaign if I want to. You're not limited to five. If I open up the campaign, see where it says add a card. So I can, I can add as many cards as I want to that campaign. Um, most of them, my granddaughter's open house. This was just a one touch. It was a flat card. It was her open house invitation went out to, you know, it's much easier to select a card and send it to all the people in your database. Here's so just listed. So is that, is that Gail, two things. Um, when you do that and you like create one card and you send it to everybody, is, is that called a campaign or is that called a group card or is that extra? What, what's going on there? Okay. There's, there's three types of cards. There's a group, a scheduled and a, um, so here, let me heartfelt. go. Heartfelt card, we go to the glossary. Heartfelt card is defined as a card with a unique heartfelt message and an immediate send date. A group send is defined as any card with an immediate send date that's mailed out to one or more persons. So like my, my holiday cards, my invites to client events, if I created, um, like my cinnamon roll card that I sent to all of my, you know, top 100, those that one card that goes out with an immediate send date, the scheduled card is what you saw, like your anniversary card, I can go through right today and schedule birthday cards for everyone in my database, and it'll go out on their birthday scheduled in advance to go out seven days prior to the birthday. So that's the difference between heartfelt group and scheduled. But in as part of the ninety seven dollars is the group send or or those scheduled those are included 
right? I'm not paying extra. You will pay extra for the group sends. You get with the 97, you get loyalty rewards, which are 10 group sends a month. But if you're going to make a mailing to 100 people, then um, then we talk about enterprise. But I want people to get started here sending the heartfelt because if you start sending the heartfelt cards, you'll get the results, which will make you want to then maybe utilize send out cards in the capacity of the enterprise, which includes a hundred group sends plus postage. So um, as you can see, this is my current plan um, because I send a lot of cards every month to different groups of people. So, and we can, you can always move up to the enterprise, but honestly, I, I really want, I don't, I don't like to talk much about the enterprise until people have settled into the premium for a couple months and you've built up your database, you've got your database in there and now let's go, you know, utilize the system and it's robust nature. Somebody asked, uh, are any of the cards pre-written or do you come up with the verbiage every time you send a card? Well, I've gotten pretty good at it, but you know, there are some that are pre-written. So let's go to the card catalog. Um, let's see. If you click on it, then see where it says see inside. Thanks for giving me a moment of your time. I would always recommend that you add something to that. Plus, you could also override what's written on any, any card and add your own text. Birthday basics. I hope your birthday has everything and more. So you can see there are. So then if I want to customize this birthday card, see underneath here, Click on the text box, write your little personal note. Sylvia, just wishing you a happy birthday. Hope it's everything and more. Um, look forward to when we get together next month. Love ya, Gail. You know, so you can create your personal note. You can also do it. There's all different fonts. I have Gail font, so that's my own personal handwriting font. How do you do that? You just send it in. Nice. You fill out a form and send it in. That's awesome. Um, somebody's saying, um, Jerry's saying, Jerry, you're at, she asked, can send out cards has, has their own campaigns, buyer and seller, um, and they're, or they're set up by you, but they have, they have buyer and seller campaigns that you can use already in there, but you created your own, right? Or no? Um, they do have, so here's <clears throat> in the campaign store, There are all kinds of campaigns for different, so I'm gonna scroll fast, close your eyes because it gets kind of dizzy going this fast, but I'm going down to real estate. So here are different campaigns that are in the system. So let's take a look at congratulations on selling. This is a five touch campaign. Here's the, here's the card. And here it's pre-designed for you. Congratulations on selling your house. I'm so grateful you trusted me to help it make it happen. Here's to new exciting adventures. Then you add your signature. Here's thank you for choosing me as an agent that goes out one month later. I always get a little lag with this. And then six months. Um, spread the word. Happy birthday. And then I'm thankful for people like you. So that's a November 1st card. So, so see how you can buy campaigns, but there's a way that there's a couple, if you like the campaigns that are pre-created, we need to get on another call to talk about how you can get the campaigns for free and save money in the long run. But that's a, that's another conversation. That's people who are joined and then want more training. Okay. That's, that's right. So, okay. And then, and then the, oh, shoot, I had another question really quick. 
and I lost it again. Whatever. I have a question. Um, does um, send out cards give you the ability to import your contacts from, say, an existing CRM or Excel, or did you have to type those one by one? Nope. Oh, so here, if I go to relationships and I click on import contacts, you can just drag and drop your CSV file there and it'll upload right in. Oh, I remember. If you export out of like another CRM to a CSV file, you can import right into send out cards. So, CSV. so, um, so on the campaigns that you created, Gail, um, you, if it's a, you know, you created a year campaign for something and, and you schedule it all out and it's ready to go, it's, it gives you the estimated total cost, but it doesn't charge you till the card goes out? That's correct. Okay, so great. individual charge, so it's not one big charge, it's, okay, I was just checking. It's $39 total for my five card campaigns, but the, when I do it, when I implement it, it's like 20 bucks for the first card and brownies that go out. And then when the token goes out in three months with the card, it's another like $4. And then um, 12 months, the anniversary card that goes out, it's about $10. And then the other cards are just 99 cents plus the postage. There. This is, this is my buyer campaign. So, and these, these were cards that were in the system. I wasn't so creative. So I love the home anniversary one. Um, it's just, they're just not loading real good right now. Okay. Does anybody have any other final questions? It's 11, almost 1120. And we've been at this for an hour and 20 minutes. So, um, I guess, you know, um, Gail, I'm going to recommend that you put your link, your, your affiliate link in the chat again, one more time. Um, so that it's there and people can click on it to check out your website, um, and send their free card or whatever, <laughs> or sign up or whatever they want to do. And, um, and does anybody else have any other final questions? Well, I came on late, so it'll be recorded. Okay. And I would have. Are you? You? Who are you? I'm sorry. I don't know you. You look cute, though. No, oh, thank you, Cindy Myers. And I used to live in Michigan, and I'm in Fort Myers, so I'm Myers oh, from Fort Myers. So if you guys have any referrals, remember me. All right, awesome. So um, I'm 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 going to be posting this in um the Dum Dum's Guide to EXP, and it'll also be um on my YouTube channel, Forward Thinking Real Estate. I just want you to know that one of our recruits, Leanne Sanderson, she loves you. Oh, okay. <laughs> I know her. She, she, she comments on a lot of things. So good. I'm glad, I'm glad that I do something for her. <laughs> Thank you. So. Thank you for joining us. So yes, this will be posted, this video. You can share. Perfect. Okay. Anybody else? All right. Thank you everybody for joining us. Have a great rest of your day. Gail, we'll talk and bye, Bye, everybody. Bye.